I think that Tannehill is better in part because the people who surround him more. But if the question is who you trust more, trust is about what they do in those real tough moments. So, like, if you trust somebody, you can leave them in your house with all your money and all your things. You trust them there. It's Tom magic, Brady. Man. Yeah. It's brand name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tom Brady. I trust like that. I don't have that same level of trust for Tannehill in part because I haven't seen it and I don't have that history. So now, the things around Brady may not allow him, and Brady himself is not the Brady that he once was. So I still think that the Titans will win this game, but it's not because I don't trust Tom Brady. If it comes down to it, if I could pick one of those two quarterbacks, it's two minutes left, we need a score. I was I was in um, where it was when they beat Atlanta, when they came back on Atlanta. Yeah. I was in Houston. Houston yep. I was in Houston. I was there. I watched it. After the Julio yeah, catch, you went and got your popcorn. <laughs> I know. I thought I was done. I was. I already started writing my piece about how the, the Brady is, <laughs> how the Patriots are going to lose. So he ruined my night. In. I'm not going to make a fool out of myself again. He's not as good as he once was, and I, only, I don't think he'll have a, as good a game as I think that Tannehill will have. But if there's one quarterback between these two that I trust more, it's obviously Tom Brady. Nick, I'm, I'm a little disappointed, man, because uh -oh. that was one of your least convincing arguments <laughs> I've ever heard in the history of uh -oh. Dominique arguments. And that's a long lineage. It's, it's a long, it's a long great, history. Great history. <laughs> I, I trust Tannehill more, and it's easy for me. I trust Tannehill more because we have seen it more recently. Recently. You know, they clown on me, Rachel, for being young. So the problem with some of these old heads is they're like, oh, I remember when. I, re I remember when, Tom Brady. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's talk about right now. Tannehill, we just found out this morning, AFC Offensive Player of the Month because he gave you 12 touchdowns and two picks in this last month. 68% completion percentage. Meanwhile, Tom Brady, 58% completion percentage. Now, to Neek's point and to everybody on the set's point, we acknowledge the history of Tom Brady and his greatness. Not just the greatest football player, in my humble opinion, but probably the greatest winner in all of sports because of what he's done for so long with the Patriots. But what Ryan Tannehill is doing right now, that far exceeds what Tom Brady is doing right now. He has the second best completion percentage since he took over the starting job. They're seven and three. He completely re-energized and rejuvenated this Tennessee Titans okay. team well, again. Well, I can't wait to rip that again. apart. But we got two other guys. I'll let them talk again, before I, I rip that apart. I acknowledge the greatness of, of Tom Brady, but Ryan Tannehill, you have to trust right now because the numbers say that. That's Can not read, read, out some, read some more of them numbers. No, I'm done with these numbers, bro. I'm done with these numbers. <laughs> because guess what numbers mean in the playoffs? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. I think football more than any other sport, experience matters. And what do you do in the pressure moments? We haven't seen Tannehill in those moments because we've never seen him in the playoffs. I trust Tom Brady. I trust Bill Belichick with a one game plan specific to an opponent. And Gillette Stadium is tough to win in that environment. Brady knows all the Jedi mind tricks. He understands <laughs> how to catch you on. Listen, the playoffs. The gate or the, the play gate? Which one? Well, well all those, all those, all those, all those. I mean, what happens is time is of the essence. Since in the playoffs, you you look up and you over you know you come out too hyped up. You know you guys burn out. We see inexperienced teams they play the game in their mind during during the during the week. They understand the pace and the time. And there's no situation that this Patriots team is going to be put in that they haven't been put in before. It's nothing that, you know, the Tennessee Titans are going to show them that they haven't seen before. You know, they're going in and not only facing the Patriots, they're playing the, the, the ghost of Patriots past. And I don't know if Tannehill can go in that environment without the experience to be able to win those pivotal games. Because it's going to come down to one possession and either you're going to make fourth and one or you're not going to make fourth and one. And I trust Brady to, to make the proper decisions, you know, in those pivotal moments. You know, more than I do Ryan Tannehill. Listen, uh, full disclosure, I picked the Titans to, to win this game. Blast. Uh, I, I picked, <laughs> you're a, you're a, I, a Patriot I, Super Bowl I, champion. I, two time Super Bowl champ, New England Patriots. I picked the Titans to, to win this game because of the support. I have more faith in the supporting cast. Right. Because when you look at Derrick Henry, who's the leading rush in the National Football League, you look at A.J. Brown, who's just been oh, fantastic, mm -hmm. you, know, at, you know, at the wide receiver, of rookie wide receiver. Okay, Mike Vrabel, who was in that Patriots building and knows what the inner workings and how they, how they prepare. Dean Pease, who mm -hmm. was in the defensive coordinator with the Love Tennessee Titans, who was in that same building and knows how they think in New England. But that's not the question. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. The question is, Preach. who do you trust – who do you trust more? And when we talk about trust, and like guys have mentioned, it's about experience. Yeah. Okay, the one thing I've, I've seen and I've witnessed for myself is I've seen and witnessed Tom Brady at his, at his best in clutch situations. Now, is he playing like the Tom Brady that we've been accustomed to seeing in the past? No. Okay, whether it be his injury or just... 
He's 42. He's not playing as well or supporting cast, but he's clearly not playing like the Tom Brady that we've seen. And Ryan Tannehill has been really like it's over the past great. seven games. He's been the best a top, quarterback. He's in been league. a top five quarterback. So, let but me, in the, but in the but, but in the biggest of moments, I'm gonna say this to you. I'm gonna point this to you, Archer. Mm-hmm. In the biggest of moments, mm-hmm. if this game comes down to a two minute drive, mm-hmm. that's the question. The t- a two minute drive. Who are you trusting in yeah. that two-minute drive? Well, I mean, I'm not trusting Brady's in his supporting cast. No, but no, we no, can't no, because no. Here, here's my here's my thing, Woody. And you said this earlier on in the show. And the thing about me is, I pay attention to you, Woody, when you speak. You said you can't talk about the past. You got to talk about what have you done for me right now. And it's like you said, Brady with his supporting cast. That's not all on Brady, but it's like Brady used to be able to carry the team and elevate okay. everyone around him, regardless of the talent on the field. And right now, the dude is 40 plus. We're not seeing that same Tom Brady again. I'm not knocking I, his greatness, okay. but you can't was, trust Tom because you can't trust those they, around Tom. They won the Super Bowl last season. Right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.